Are we back? Dave. We're back. Yeah, I'm here, man. What's going Dave. on, dude? What's up, dude? You are a podcaster from the Selling Out Podcast. That's right, man. Selling Out Show. Find us on Twitter <laughs> at Selling Out. That is true. Nice. And you are a New Englander in Dallas, correct? Yeah, how fucked up is that, huh? <laughs> Texas is a very interesting place to live. How Ever did been that there? happen? <laughs> Boy, I don't know if I can tell you the whole story. That might take forever. But uh, <laughs> I don't know if you get enough time for that. But no, I was born in New England, raised there. I've lived a little bit everywhere. I lived in New Jersey, actually, for a little bit. And I was just down in Mexico, of all places. Hiding out? And I zipped up from Mexico. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got a Raleigh's. You got that right. And I won't tell you where the bodies are buried. But yeah, now I'm in uh, beautiful Dallas, Texas. Ah. My accent goes over very well. <laughs> Do you play People it up People have down no there? idea what I'm talking about. What's that? Do you play up the accent in Texas? Do you like play it up even more? Uh to be perfectly honest, yeah, sometimes just to fuck with people a little bit. But uh, <laughs> like my wife notices, I put it on a little thick here and there, and I don't know, maybe it makes me sound more tough compared to these uh, y'all people or something. And maybe yeah. that's why I do it. It's like uh, <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's why. But but yeah, it's like for example, take Walmart, right? Everybody goes Walmart. I say Walmart. <laughs> and, uh, Oh like, yeah, I gotta go to Walmart. And I gotta go to like, Walmart. What the fuck are you talking? Yeah, exactly. And they're like, "What are you talking about?" My grandfather, so, he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna drive the car." My grandfather, <laughs> yeah. my grandfather's a Maine, so yeah, he's got that thick, that thick New England accent. Oh yeah, the car, the yard, park, all that stuff, garbage. Yeah, I say it all, buddy. Trust you me. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, and man. actually, people in New Jersey loved it, too. People in New Jersey really got a kick out of it. Yeah. And uh, people... I don't know what it is about people in New Jersey just want to rag on people from New England all the time. <laughs> you guys feel the same way? You guys like to bust up balls, too, or what? I don't I don't really find that. Yeah. We're, yeah. we're all right. I'm from North Jersey, but even uh, the only time it gets there is during a baseball game. During the baseball game, if if it's Yankees and the Red Sox, but then, then when it's like football, it's us versus Philly. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, I don't really, yeah, I don't really get on for any other sport, but <laughs> <laughs> just for Boston. Well, I always tell football to be weird because you got two teams, right? They they claim to be from New York. They actually play in Jersey, <laughs> and right, and then you yes. got you got different like factions of fans. You got some fans that are Giants fans, some fans that are Jets fans. But you're like, why? What's the reason for this? You know, you, you live in Jersey. What's, the, what's your affiliation? Where does it come from? Why the Giants? Why the Jets? They don't even you know? know. They don't know. Where, I, where I'm from, we got one team. So you root for the one team, that's it. So we don't yeah. understand this whole like dual loyalty thing. Some people are like, yeah, when the Giants are doing great, I love the freaking Giants. When the Jets are good, I like the Jets. I'm like, that's, that's sacrilege, man. That you can't and, get away from You can't do that. It, it depends here, like, what, what fan, what kind of fan you are, too. If you're South Jersey, you got to be Philly. Yeah. You got to, you, you don't oh, have well, to be, but, like, a lot of times. It's the it same thing with life. the hockey, man. Like, all the people around. Yes. I'm a Devils fan, but everyone around here is a uh, fucking Flyers fan. Anyone up like, north is a Devils yeah. fan. Yep, anyone down here is a Flyers fan. Fuck the Flyers. <laughs> but I did, I did, I did. Let me tell you. I did cheer for them against the Rangers. So. <laughs> I'm not going to There you go. That's something, right? That's something. Yeah. Right on. So, um, what else you guys got for me? What do you want to ask me? My life is an open book, just like on my podcast. I wanted to ask, Dave, what was, uh, you talk about screwing up. What's the biggest thing you screwed up in life? <sighs> Everything. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, nah, that's kind of broad in a sense, right? But no, yeah. here's the thing is, like the guy I do the podcast with, his name's Nate. We've been friends forever, for years and years. We're in bands together back in the 90s and stuff. Okay. And, uh, you know, back in the day, we didn't really care much about the future. We never thought about it. So we're all just like a bunch of hot potty and idiots, you know, burning the candle at both ends. Yes. And yes. now, here we are. And, you know, I'm staring down the barrel at 40 right now, man. I'm 39 years old. And first off, I'm, I'm completely and utterly shocked I'm alive. <laughs> that you right? made it that long, yes. I agree. Yeah, totally. I'm 41, right? bro. And yeah, I'm like, I, I always said I would be dead by 40. <laughs> yeah, right. And then when you finally make it, you're like, holy shit, what do I do now? Yeah. And you wake up one day, you're married, you got kids, or whatever the case may be. You're a completely domesticated animal. Your balls are in a freaking mason jar. And you're like, is this what life is all about? And that's why I called the show selling out because I thought to myself, oh. 
if I could meet myself when I was 18 and he'd look at me now, he'd be fucking disgusted. He'd, he'd be like, what the hell happened to you, man? But in the same token, I would look back and go, you fucking idiot. You what asshole. You yeah, you got to get your exactly. shit Exactly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> right? And he, he'd be the guiltiest party because he's the one who set this whole thing up. So that's the one who deserves the, the punch in the face, not me, but still. Yeah. yeah. So. But yeah, we were a bunch of hot potty and fools, man. I mean, drinking, drugs. Oh, my God. Uh, people getting knocked off of roofs. Uh, <laughs> overdoses. The whole, no, seriously, yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, like, you ever have a friend. It was crazy stuff. You ever have a friend do the same was, shit as you, and that friend died, and you're like, why the fuck am I still here? Like, yeah, I've had that a couple times. Like, that, that's some crazy shit. Crazy shit, man. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You, you nailed that on the head. Yeah, Sometimes right? you look back and you go, how the fuck did that happen? Yeah. How am I still. How am I still rock, <laughs> rocking? And then that dude, he's gone. Like, it, it's crazy, crazy shit. Yeah, then you go, well, I must be here for a reason, right? If I'm the one who made it. Right. But yet you're the same person who can barely get your ass out of bed in the and morning. Yeah, so, you, so what's my purpose in life? You never got that reason yet. Yeah, you're still mm. still, uh, you're still wondering. <laughs> yeah. I asked an aunt of mine a few years ago. I said, does it ever get any easier? Does it ever get any better? And she said no. And I appreciated that. Yeah. That honesty, like, yeah, no, it just, it still sucks. It's always going to suck. Yeah. <laughs> it, it sucks in, like, different ways. It sucks in different ways. <laughs> yeah, but isn't that a great answer to give you? It's just basically like, hey, you fucked. Yeah. Congratulations. You're like, you know what? Thanks. Thanks a bunch. I appreciate that. I did. I appreciated, told me I appreciated the honesty. Like, yeah, I, I did. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got to. You got to, though, man. That's the thing. It's like when you, when you get to a certain age, you start appreciating honesty. Like, yes. you don't want smoke being blown up your ass. No. You know? Yeah, you don't want to so, be like, yeah, you could be you could be uh, Matthew McConaughey. No, you, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird goal, by the way. Is that just yeah. a weird goal? <laughs> that was Matthew funny. McConaughey? No, no. <laughs> I, did, you I want to be an actor. BMW commercials? When I was younger, I wanted to be an actor. And yeah, no, you just realized, yeah, that's never going to happen. That's never going to happen. Yeah, I feel you. Shit. Yeah, I know when you're young, you want to be Kurt Cobain or something, and you want to be famous or whatever. And it's like, ah, just fucking everybody leave me alone. I don't want to. Be famous, <laughs> yes. right? I take yeah. the money, but I don't. I don't need the notoriety or anything like that. So yeah, so, yeah you know. How did How did you meet your cause? You said from from working in bands. Was oh me and Nate? Yeah, we actually. Yes. Uh, I grew up as we mentioned. I grew up in Massachusetts. I'm from New England. Uh, we went to the same high school together in Dudley, Massachusetts, and. Uh, you know, back then in the early 90s, it was really easy to find friends in school because there's like clickies or clicks, you know? I just yeah. call them clickies. How weird does that sound? <laughs> uh, yeah, clickies. So, um, you know, you had your rocker dudes, you had your jocks or whatever. And you were one of those dudes like me who's in a, a metal music, whatever. And you, you just gravitate towards each other. And before you know it, you just start a band, you know? It's like now with podcasts, it's like everybody has a podcast, <laughs> right? Back then, everybody had a fucking band. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, yes. But it was cool, you know, we became fast friends and uh, we had a lot of the same interests again, musically, partying and everything else. We used to play out a lot, play a lot of gigs. So it was a lot of fun. And then uh, over time, like any other friend, you kind of drift apart, whatever the case may be there. And I've recently reconnected with him. And I've been doing another podcast for uh, two years about comic books called Parlapod. So I get a lot of experience now, you know, behind the mic and editing and everything else like that. Okay. And I said to him, I said, hey, I'm taking a little break from the comic book show. And I kind of want to do something just about life, man, about like our weird ass theories about stuff or, or if me and you hop on the phone and we, we end up talking, the kind of stuff that we like to talk about, you know? Cool. And he was totally on board with that. And then uh, we, we got together and we created this little idea here. What's your favorite uh, comic book? Ooh. Well, wow, that's, a, that's a tough question for a comic book fan like me, buddy. Uh, <laughs> let's see, my favorite comic book. I grew up loving the Incredible Hulk and oh, then, yeah. uh, Swamp Thing. Big Swamp Thing fan, too. Oh, so cool. if you look at Marvel, it's weird, too. Both the characters are green. I don't know why. I don't know <laughs> what, the, what the deal is with that, but I like Hulk and Swamp Thing. Nice. Swamp Thing was uh, Alan Moore, right? Yeah, no, he, no. Yeah, Alan Moore did have a yeah. spin. What's that? Yeah, Alan Moore did, like, he did, like, a, a like a story. Like, oh, he, he did a story. He revamped the character. Oh, obviously. okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, What's in the that? 80s. He took it over, I believe it was 84, and uh, he kind of tossed the whole concept of Swamp Thing on his ear, where a lot of people were just like, hey, yeah, it's a fucking muck monster, whatever. What's the difference between Swamp Thing, Man yeah. Thing, Creature from the Black Lagoon, you know, whatever. Yeah. And uh, he, he was the one where it was like a man 
that it's a monster. Well, what if the monster believes it's a man but was never a man at all? And that was a really cool concept. And uh, yeah. yeah, Alan Moore was, was fantastic. He really was. Now he's a fucking complete nut, a weirdo. Yeah. Then, fantastic. What's trauma? Is that trauma? T R O M A. Is that trauma? Or tr- trauma the movie company? Is it, yeah, didn't they? Yeah, do, uh, didn't that's they do uh, toxic. Me? Toxic. They did oh, toxic, toxic Avenger. Avenger. Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say that can't. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're wrong. There was a Swamp Thing <laughs> movie though. I do yeah, remember like a yeah, Swamp Thing cool. movie. Oh, there was two of them. I didn't know that. And then there was a series. Too, yeah. Like... Right. Right, there was one on the USA Network. There was a series in the early 90s, which completely sucked, but I guess it's just yeah, a product it was... of his time. Yeah. I remember watching that as, like, a real little kid with my dad, like, back in the day. <laughs> was your like... dad mad about it, or did... was your dad, like, cool? No, he's like, yeah, it's Swamp Thing. <laughs> yeah, that, that's always cool with whatever. Like, you're like, this sucks, Yeah, a dude in a rubber suit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and actually they just announced a new Swamp Thing show, because DC Comics is doing their own streaming service, and... Right. Uh, you know, all, all of us fans are pretty hyped about that because we're like, wow, now we're actually going to get, like, CGI and shit. Not just Dick Durick <laughs> with, like, weeds thrown on his head. C- CGI weed. You know what I mean? So. CGI <laughs> I, um, I actually yeah. recently been reading comics, and I've been trying to understand Marvel, so I've started, like, the 1998 stuff in Marvel, and I'm reading the 98 Black Panther. Wow, just an amazing series. Oh, I thought you were going to say it sucked. Oh, no, it was Creed? so yeah. good. Uh, you were the kind of the one that schooled me in Marvel back in the day. Yeah, but I never had read comics as yeah. much as I'm reading now. But. Ah. Dave, how little... the fuck do you school somebody if you never read the comic? I read a lot of so so I read a lot of uh, a lot of Wikipedia pages and a lot of like and I and, and I had cards. I started, I started I had, um, buying the comics because I'm like this? I had these cards. I had these cards uh, that like the the face of them would be a picture of a character and the back of it would be like a big bio of the character. So I, I learned a lot of ah. about the characters from like those. I had a bunch of old school comics that my dad had like left in his in his garage from back in the day and I read ah. like all of them. Like I love that old era of like Marvel. Like, yeah. The, like the seventies and eighties. That's my favorite. Oh, yeah, the 70s were great. The Bronze Era was fucking yeah. outstanding. For a yeah. second there, I was waiting for you to say that old era back in 1998. <laughs> <laughs> Three years ago, that was the best spot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know, it's so weird now, too, because, like, I'll, uh, there's a thing in Texas called Half Price Books. I don't believe there's any in Jersey. And uh, it's a great place to find, like, comic books. And of course, like, your name, a lot of the books are half price or whatever. But some of the books I buy now are back from when I was a teenager. And I'm like, holy shit, man. I'm spending money on stuff that, you know, back then, not not to sound like a, a complete jerk to some of the other collectors out there, but I was lining bird cages with because it wasn't important to me at the time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess nostalgia gets us all. That's right? Grab us by, by the, the berries and says, oh, now now you miss it. It's been gone That's... for 20 years. Now you want it back again. And, yeah. So it's been pretty cool re exploring, like you were saying about the Black Panther series and stuff, going back and looking at uh, some old titles I might have taken for granted back in the day. Yeah. What's one that really stood out to you that you think you took for granted back in the day and have read recently and are blown away by it? Well, I've been going uh, a little cuckoo, and it sounds pretty vanilla, but Superman. Okay. Superman's a character I've never liked. For some reason, I've liked yeah. these, yeah, but these you characters know that I have, like... I agree. You know, that? He's got cool bad guys though. Like some some he of the, does have a cool some of the gallery, villain, yeah. yeah, some of the villains like Brainiac. Um, uh, what's a uh, uh, Doomsday? Even Lex Luthor yeah, yeah. is more of an interesting character than Superman himself. Like Ooh, about Bizarro. Yeah, Bizarro. <laughs> Bizarro. Yeah, Bizarro is dope. Just, yeah, Bizarro is really cool. Yeah, yeah, but I, but I mean, dying. like when you look at Superman on, on the face, of everything he was he was the OG, right? Yeah, he was the yeah. first one, the guy who lifted the car over his head. Action Comics number one. You're like, all right, but he's always been kind of boring to everybody. Just, just yeah, I don't know. To me personally, I have like these characters with, like a tragic backstory and stuff, and. I mean, I guess he does too. You're you're a fucking kid. You get rocketed off your planet. That kind of sucks, right? Planet fucking blew up. Yeah, yeah. that kind of sucks. Yeah, yeah. But, but he here's does... the thing: they bring it back. That's the thing in comics. They always bring all this shit back. So you think it's like, uh, oh yeah, Uncle Ben died. Oh no, and then some. At one point in the '90s, they're gonna bring Uncle Ben back, or or later, and you go, oh well, there goes that whole fucking thing, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, Superman's that's that '90s stuff. For some reason, maybe I was I was getting too baked at the time. Again, I was in my teens or whatever. I was losing interest in some of the mainstream comics. I was more interested in, like, girls and, again, being in bands and partying and stuff like that. 
so now it's kind of cool to, to go back and, and explore some of those stories and they were pretty pretty darn good yeah, yeah. some of the the 90s superman stuff well was... even like i, I rewatched the uh oh, superman animated series back from the 90s that was like i guess bruce tim the guy that did like the batman animated series he did a superman uh-huh. animated series too and that was actually really good and i kind of felt the same way about superman but watching that rewatching that kind of uh made me intrigued by superman like they're good stories yeah, I got to be honest with you though. The movies and cartoons, I, I really don't care about. I really yeah. don't. Like, even even for like Marvel great. with all the stuff going on right now, you're not really into even those. Yeah, they're good. I mean, they're, well, I shouldn't even say they're good. They're great, right? But it's like that's that's a whole culture now. It's weird to me. Okay, talking about comic books back in the day, it, it still wasn't a cool thing, right? And what do we have for superhero movies? The coolest thing we had. Coincidentally enough, was the original Superman film. Original Superman, yeah. yes. Right? And then you had a bunch of shitty-ass fucking movies that came out. They were kind of an embarrassment. We had that 90s Swamp Thing show we were just talking about. The yeah, yeah, Am- right? There was, yeah, there was, yeah, there was a 90s Captain America. Yeah, there was a 90s oh, Flash. Oh, no, Captain America, don't even get me started. Yeah. <laughs> but like now, it's fucking cool, right? Everything about comics is yeah. fucking cool. Yeah. And... It's great. I mean, we're lucky we live in this day and age and stuff, but I'm still always about the comics because that's where I came from. That's yeah. yes. Now, had I been born now, for one, I'd probably be luckier because when I was a teenager, you go into a comic book store, you'd never see a woman, right? <laughs> never. And now and now it's like uh, hot cosplayers and these chicks are like, I'm a comic book fan. You're like, when the, where the fuck were you? You kidding me? Where were you back then? This was such a, a hobby for losers, and now it's suddenly a fucking pop culture phenomenon. Yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, but uh, I like the movies. Don't get me wrong. I like all the properties. I think it's, it's cool and all. But for me, like even on my own podcast, the, the guy I did the podcast with, he would handle movies and TV because for me, it was always secondary compared to the books. Mm. Wow. I I would definitely. Yeah, I'm a dick. I would definitely though. <laughs> I would I'm, de- a, I'm an old curmudgeon dick. You know that's the way it is. I would, Get off my lawn. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely. I, I would definitely like seriously suggest going back and watching the old Bruce Tim uh, uh, Batman cartoon because it's it's. It's really well done. Like it's like they I actually, follow the comic yeah, book yeah, storylines too, from what I understand. And I actually like of that era. I think it's better than some of the movies. Like yeah. a lot better the way they handled like everything. It, what would the Driz say about that? I heard Dave is a big Driz fan. <laughs> yeah, you a big fan of me? Of course you fucking are. You don't even have to answer that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I I'm a huge fan of you. Yeah. I, I saw you on the last show shoveling yeah. shit in your mouth like a human fucking vacuum cleaner. Yeah. I was amazed. <laughs> By the way that you can consume these things, I think you need to Yeah, I consume fucking everything better than anybody else. <laughs> everything? Everything. Yo, anybody yes. anybody who consumes something, they'll be like, yeah, I'm consuming yeah. this pretty good, but I don't oh, consume man. it as good as the Drizz. That's what they say while right they're now, consuming. I'm jealous. I am yeah. jealous on how you're consuming air. Yeah. That's what I'm jealous He's of right now. You Yo, because you don't, because you can't consume air like me. So that's how it is. I can't. Yeah. I doubt Nobody anybody can. can. I really don't. Hey, you know what? You're right in front of the camera right now. I can't see you. I'm on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> you're can lucky. you look into the camera right now? I want the people to look in the face of this this consumption master. Oh. Can you do Yo, that? What you up? doing that right now? Yo, what up? Yo, of course I'm fucking looking okay. in the camera. Everybody, I hope they can all see me. Yo, okay. what up? Everybody, Yo. look at this face. Yo, this is a face made for radio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good, right? Radio. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just yeah. fucking you I mean, that's fucking sexy. <laughs> yeah, no, you just call. Wait, you, wait, what? You, you said I'm sexy. <laughs> yeah. You said I'm fucking good I looking. I don't recall saying yeah, that. Yeah, no, you said that. that's how you want to interpret it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you said, you said, y'all look at this I face. Like, you I said, like... y'all look at this face. You don't got a face like that. Yeah. I don't have a face at all. You're right. Yeah. You, I no, love the day I, I can't match the face. I can't mar- match the, the breathing. Anything you're doing right now, I just can't do it. Yo, Dave. Teach me. Yo, Dave, can you yeah. rap? Can you fucking rap? Can I Yo, rap? drop a dope beat. No, no. Yo, drop something. No, wait, what was the one you did last week? The Friday one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that was great. That was great. Yeah. That gave me an excruciating headache for about two and a half hours after. So that, that was top notch stuff. Well, I was just covering the one that, like, we're Rebecca Black did, but she stole mine because I originally had one called Tuesday, and she just ripped the fuck off. Uh, yeah. yeah. I can't wait yeah. till you drop Thursday on Wax. Yeah. That's the one I'm. Yeah, well, that was back in the day. Like I did Thursday first, and then I did Tuesday.
Tuesday. Yeah. yeah. Well, that makes sense, chronologically yeah. speaking. Yeah, totally. Yeah, you always got to go in reverse. <laughs> yeah. Revert? Wait, what? Yeah. Obviously, nobody thinks as good as you either. That's, that's, that's a gift. Yeah, I got, a, I got like my creative brain from the heavens. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Well... <laughs> yeah, like I died. I died, and yeah. I was at like Heaven's Gate, and God was like, "Yo, Driz," and I was like, "Yo, God," and He's like, "Yo, I'm gonna bring you back to life," and I was like, "That's cool," and He's like, "But you know what?" I was like, "What?" He's like, "You're gonna yeah. be a fucking genius when you come back," and I'm like, "That cool, God," <laughs> and then He brought me back to life, yeah. and I was a fucking genius. <laughs> yeah. You're a fucking genius, and you're like, "Yo, God." Yo, God, send me back. I'm going to do some weird shit. And here you are. Thank God. That, yo, God, I'm looking up right now. Yo, God. I had to put the yo in there for the drizz. Yo. And I'm looking up right now. Thank you. Thank you for all that. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the best. <laughs> Dave, thank you so much for talking yo. to us. You fucking rock, dude. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on. I hope everybody who's been listening checks out it's Selling Out. Yes. We're going to be talking about some more crazy shit on there. And, I, yeah, I appreciate you guys having me on to talk some stuff, man. It's been a lot of fun. It you has You threw me on with the drizz. Oh, yeah, I yeah. had to. I had to. Yo. The drizz out, yo. Yo. <laughs> yo, what up, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> oh, have a good one, brother. All right. You guys be good. Talk to you soon. Yeah, take All care, right, my man. dude. <laughs> We'll, no, we won't be back. Yeah, but, but I'll be here. Yeah, we're not. Driz, yeah, Driz will be yeah. here. And Frankie might join him. And, yeah, and Ron. Him. Ron always comes yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, fucking love Ronnie. Ronnie. Yeah, Mr. Ronnie's Ron's like boy. 10 minutes.